Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation. This is the Rangers update, bringing you a few stories that have been ongoing over today and have been a bit updated um, in the past few hours, obviously since our release of our morning news video. As always, we are committed to bringing you the very latest news and stories here on the channel. We have we have further news about this man here, Jonathan Panzo, the Nottingham Forest defender. News also about Borna Barisic. And yes, he's back again. News about Cyril Desaes. Yep, more news about him. Anyway, let's start with Desaes. Um, apparently, there has been now a transfer, according to media. Again, so like I said, with a lot of these stories, you've got to take them all with a pinch of salt. I'm not saying it's gospel. It does appear, though, to be interesting because it has been reported, by again, by a multiple media sources. Now, there appears to be a transfer roadblock over Cyril Desaes as Rangers are loath to meet Cremonese's valuation on the player. Yes, Rangers apparently do still want him, but they are unwilling to reach Cremonese's value of Desaes this summer. The valuation that Cremonese have put on him, £6.5 million. Now, I get that that in the grand, grand scheme of things, is not a great deal of money for a centre-forward, given the money that is paid for a lot of centre-forwards around the world. However, in my opinion, six and a half million is an awful lot of money to pay for someone who is not exactly a prolific striker or a prolific starter for your team as well. He obviously, if you remember, did not start on a regular basis for Cremonese last season, despite the fact Cremonese were struggling. So I think six and a half million is way over his valuation, in my opinion, especially as the rumours that were going around before about Dessers to Rangers were that the money was three and a half to 3.75 million, which I think is a much more realistic price for someone like Dessers. Now, before obviously we get the Mickey said, we get the usual, that's because you're skint, you've got no mom, you've got no money. No, it's the fact that Rangers don't want to be ripped off and overcharged for players, you know, Every team has to go into negotiations with a set price that they're willing to pay on something. And if the opposition or whoever demands a ridiculous amount of money, then that team is perfectly within their rights to say, no, do one. Um, you cannot have stacked money. And for me, £6.5 million is an absolutely ludicrous amount to pay for someone like Cyril Dessers. Dessers, like, I, like I've said before, he's not exactly prolific. He's not exactly a, a goal scorer who light as lit up Serie A. He didn't play a whole load of games for Cremonese last season, despite the fact that they were struggling. So to me, it's an awful lot of money to pay for someone who, you know, realistically didn't start a great deal and didn't score a great deal of get goals. So I'll be honest with you, I don't personally get the fascination with Cyril Dessers. I don't understand it. Um, I don't particularly rate the guy. I think he's okay. I don't think he's amazing. Um, will he score in Scotland? Yeah, probably. Will he score 30 goals this season? I doubt it. Um, is he better than Lyndon Dykes? Yes, he is. Is he better than Lauren Shanklin? No, I, I don't think so. Is he better than Josh Madger? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Is he better than Tassos Dubakis? No, definitely not. Um, so for me, it just seems, I don't know, again, another stumbling block. But again, I, I don't think he's worth 6.5 million. I really genuinely don't. Now, look, I'm not as ex expert as Michael Beale, I'll admit that. Um, but I honestly don't want Rangers overpaying for someone who isn't going to be worth that money in the long run. And you've got to think of the fact that he's 28 years old. There is no sell-on value with Cyril Dessers. He plays for, say, two, three years. Um He's worth, he isn't worth it, is he? He's not going to get, he's not going to increase in value. He's only going to decrease in value. No club's going to come in and pay six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight million, you know, two, three years down the line for him. So for me, it isn't really worth it. He, you know, seven goals last season, six and a half million. That's a lot of money for someone who doesn't score on a regular basis. Okay, so let's move on and talk about this man here, Borna Barisic. Borna Barisic, certainly someone who has divided fan opinion in recent times. There are fans who absolutely love Borna, who think that he's a cracking player. Obviously, Croatian International just recently played, unfortunately lost in the Nations League Cup final um, with his national team to, to the Netherlands. 
uh, Borna, fantastic crosser of the ball and, and certainly was a fundamental part of that 55 title winning season. Now, he's obviously entering the last year of his contract next season. So the decision has been made over his future because realistically, we don't want to repeat of the Morelos, Kent, Arfield situation where they're going to be walk where they where he walks away for absolutely nothing next summer. So the decision has to be made. Do we sell him this summer or do we give him a new contract? Well, a number of sources close to Rangers have uh, alleged that Borna is very close to agreeing a new deal with the club. Um, it was said to uh, sources like Football Insider, which is a big website that reports on transfer rumours and transfer speculation, that uh, Barisic is very close to agreeing this new deal. Um, obviously, Borna was was someone who arrived at the club when Michael Beale was assistant manager. So, you know, he's been there since, you know, Beale started at Rangers back in the day underneath Steve, under Stephen Gerrard. Apparently, talks have been underway for some period of time over a new deal with po both parties increasingly positive um, and increasingly hopeful over striking a deal that will add to Borna's contract. Now, whilst Rangers will obviously add to the number of uh, new faces this summer, uh, four in through the window in the window already, likelihood that there could be as many as five or six more. One of the spots that I think they don't want to strengthen any further, and they're quite happy to run with the status quo going into next season, is left back with obviously Borna Barisic and Rid Van Yilmaz battling for that spot. But obviously in the background, you've got Adam Devine can play left back, Dujon Sterling can play left back. So plenty of options there at that left back berth. Uh, add, add to that the fact that, look, do you really want to go out and sell Borna now and then have to buy a left back or bring in a purpose, a purpose, a purposeful left back when you've got other key priorities like wingers and strikers, um, you know, centre and a centre half? They're I think much more pressing priorities. Now we haven't got an unending budget, we haven't got a bottomless pit of money. So, is it sensible in the short term to keep hold of Borna Barisic? Um, Rangers obviously have already agreed a one-year contract with Ryan Jack, uh, but the likelihood now is that they will offer Borna Barisic a new contract. No clue yet as to how much that new contract will be worth or how long it will be for, but it does look increasingly likely that Borna will sign a new deal. Okay, so let's now talk about this man here, George Jonathan Panzo, somebody who has been linked with Rangers frequently now throughout the summer and yet again that uh, transfer guru the man in the know Fabrizio Romano has been talking about an update with the Jonathan Panzo situation now Panzo's move to Rangers um, has been a on off thing all through the summer that, that allegedly there was talks going on then they stopped then there was talks going on again over a move it suggested that uh, a two and a half million pound fee would secure the services of Jonathan Panzo and the deal is edging closer, uh, but is still apparently quite slow moving at this point. Panzo has reportedly spoken to Michael Beale and had very positive dialogue with the with the manager about uh, coming to Rangers and about what Rangers offer and about the Rangers project under Michael Beale. Add to that, obviously, the fact that Michael Beale did work with Panzo um, during his youth coach days at Chelsea. So there was a relationship already there uh, with Panzo. Furthermore, you've got a situation where the city ground, the sporting director at uh, Nottingham Forest is Ross Wilson, ex-Rangers sporting director, no doubt giving Rangers a little bit of a head start when it comes to Panzo, who is also reportedly interesting, um, West Bromwich Albion and Coventry City. Jonathan, seriously, I know you were on loan there, but don't go there. The city where concrete goes to die. Uh, Guardian journalist in, in the speaking in the writing in the Guardian also said yes, Rangers still want Jonathan Panzo. They are in conversation with the player uh, and Forest, so there is a concrete possibility. Uh, Fabrizio Romano backed this up by saying that uh, he also believes that there is a concrete possibility that Panzo will join Rangers at some point this summer and add to the players who have already bought in. This obviously comes on the back of four lads who um, speculate, speculated just uh, last week about the fact that uh, <coughs> one or two players would arrive next week. No names are uh, mentioned as of yet. But could Panzo be one of them? Cifuentes certainly looks like the favourite to be landed um, in this next couple of days. But uh, the fact that uh, Fabrizio Romano is now calling it a concrete 
possibility um, really does uh, heighten the chances, obviously, of Panzo coming to and staying at Rangers and joining Rangers, plus the pull of European football, as well as also the options, uh, the, the opportunity to win trophies with this club. OK, let me know what you think of these three stories from the Rangers update in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Glasgow Rangers Nation. And as always, remember, we are the people. Thank you.